let's have a look how to form and solve equations. Here's an example. Nine people go to the zoo. Adult tickets cost $25 and children's tickets cost $12. The total cost is $147. So write an equation and find the number of adults and children who went to the zoo. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is look for any numbers. All right, so I've got nine people going to the zoo. I've got adult tickets cost $25, children's cost $12, and the total cost is $147. Now another thing that I want to do is go and look through to find any words that are going to suggest what I need to do, whether I need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And I've got a lovely word here, total. So that's going to be important. So a total often tells me I need to add them together. So step number one is to um, define our variable. Okay, so if we look at what the question is asking us, the question has said, what find the number of adults and children? So in this case, I'm just going to choose one of those to do it as. All right, so I'm going to say, um, let A equal the number of adults who went to the zoo. Okay, step two, I need to write down any equations. So there might be one, there might be two, we don't know. Okay, so we know what? We know that nine people went to the zoo. Okay, so from those nine people, some of them are adults and some of them are not adults, which means that they're children. Okay, so if that's all got to add up to nine, then that means I can talk about A as my number of adults, and the number that are not adults is 9 take away A. Okay, so the total is 9 adults went, no, 9 people went. If I subtract the number of adults, that tells me how many children there are. Okay. That's going to be an important thing for us to think about, because... We've given some information about how much each adult and children's tickets cost. So I know that if I was to take the number of, say I had two adults that went to the zoo, and I had therefore seven children that went to the zoo. Okay, think about how we'd work out the cost of that. Well, two adult tickets times $15, not $15, $25. Plus I would have seven children at twelve dollars each and that would give me a cost of hundred and thirty four dollars okay so I know that's not the right number but think about the process that we've just gone through we've looked at how we looked at each adult ticket is twenty five dollars times the number of adults so in terms of my equation I'm going to say twenty five dollars times the number of adults which is a then I add it on because I'm doing a total cost. I'm adding on the number of children times $12 per child. So it's $12 per child times the number of children. How many children have we got? Well, total there's nine people minus the number of adults. That tells me how many children there are. And that cost has to total up to $147. So there's our equation. Now, our third step is to now solve that equation. Okay, so step number three is to solve. So if we take that equation um, that we had from here, so we've got 25 times A plus 9 minus A um, times 12 equals 147. Okay. So I'm going to try doing it a bit of simplifying. So 25 times A is just 25A. Then if I've got 12 times 9 take away A, then what I can do is I can expand that bracket out. Okay, so 25A plus, and I'm going to do 12 times 9, which is 108, um, 
minus 12 times a, which is 12a. And that's equal to 147. Okay, so let's do some more simplifying. I've got 25a minus 12a. So like terms, I can combine these. So 12 lots of a minus 12 lots of a gives me 13a. Plus I've got 108, which will be equal to, gosh, that's a terrible 8, sorry. Let's try that again. 108 equals 147. So 13a, I'm going to leave that where it is. I'm going to leave the 147 where it is. And I'm going to move this plus 108 to the other side. And that's going to make it into minus 108. So I'm going to get 13a equals 39. And now I want to get the a by itself. So I need to get rid of the 13. And the opposite of multiplying by 13 is dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 13. These 13s will cancel out. And that will leave me with A equals 39 divided by 13, which is 3. So now my last step is to explain. What this answer means. So let's think about what we've just found. Go back to our definition. A is the number of adults who went to the zoo. We know that there were nine people that went to the zoo and some of them are adults and some of them are children. So we know that three adults went to the zoo. And therefore how many children? Well there's nine people in total minus the three adults means that six children went to the zoo. And there we have it.